Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are continuing with more dot hack GU last recode volume one for now to see if we can finish the final quest in the game before we move on to volume two. And once we do that, we will be in a bunch of cutscenes, of course. <coughs> this is probably the same one. An act or I pretend. <laughs> yeah, no. You were asleep, don't lie. I want to go ahead and put down a quick save. And now, let's see if we can do this final quest. I don't think I've done all the quests before. No, I never have, yeah, I never have. I've actually never played the original games. I can do it. She's busy because she's, you know, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's bring Gaspar. Alright. They're level 41, doesn't bother me whatsoever. Because this will be an easy to do quest. Skip the the dialogue because it's all right here. We don't need it. What we need to know is right there in the notes. The extra cutscene is honestly a waste of game data. In my opinion. this beautiful sea! A horizon more mystical than real life. It's so well done, it gives a true sense of being in a real place. The fog effect had to be adjusted so that the color of the sky matches the color of the ocean. It's quite difficult. Um, do you work for a game company or something? Oops! I can't answer a question like that, for I am Pyrrhos III, a man of mystery! Oh, come on! You can tell me! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. What is our quest? Attacked Gurugan who ate my field notes. Alright. Let's go find it. And I still have Max Chims for Volume 2 and for the um, Mecha Grunty. So we are smooth sailing. This game has a really beautiful ocean and some really nice graphics too. The fog adjustment's impressive. <laughs> you have sharp eyes! These ocean graphics rank among my top three! Piros, you do work for a game company, don't you? Hey, I won't fall for a simple trick like that, for I am Piros III, a man of mystery! Oh, come on! You can tell... <laughs> <laughs> okay, young man. Y yeah? 
You seem to know something about graphics. Is that your real job? Are you a pro? Well, you see, I... I'm just a high school student. I like to draw pictures. Hmm, so you would like to become a graphic designer in the future, yes? You have great promise, in my opinion. I am quite impressed. Well, you see, the problem is... Yes? What is it? You sound as if you've lost your best friend. My parents. They want me to get a regular job as an office worker. They say if I don't go to the college they want, they won't support me anymore. Eh? So, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Don't think! Huh? <laughs> Let your passionate soul burn! Convince your parents with your burning spirit! Make a miracle happen! <sighs> that won't work. I guess it's better to be normal. Alrighty, we have a clue. He who does not have the stone shall not enter. Am I in trouble? <coughs> nah. Ah, oh, these are so easy. <laughs> lame item is a lame. Well, I'll take it anyway. Let's get him! <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> okay, two more treasure chests. I think even I can win! Why waste your mana? Oh yeah, where's the strategy you said to? No. <coughs> Behold! I am here of the bird! No, you're Cosmo from Fairy Odd Parents. Same actor. Now that was a good fight! This is awesome! This will be quick! Lame. <coughs> I think even I can win. <laughs> now that was a good fight. <coughs> oh, my blood is boiling now. <laughs> <laughs> Got a stone. Now to move on. This will be a quick little quest, and we can move on to volume two. I could use the bike, but it's not been upgraded any at all, and I honestly don't care. <laughs> I'd rather walk everywhere, because walking is fun. All right. Neutralize to the barrier. This will be easy. He looks strong. Nah. He is strong. Nah. I've fought him lots of times, and I've never been able to beat him. You trying again? I'm tired with real world stuff. I don't have enough energy to fight monsters. I came to the world just so I could see the ocean. Then solve your problems in the real world. Yeah, right. But that's impossible. 
It's not! Your spirit's not burning enough! When your soul is truly on fire and burned out, that is when miracles will occur! Then the impossible becomes possible! You're not supposed to burn out. Very well! Let me show you what I mean! I'll use my burning spirits to defeat that monster! Watch me! Heroes the Third, the ferocious golden white dragon! Hey! I'll help too! <sighs> okay. Heroes the Third, at your service! Easy. <coughs> hey -ya! You see, young man? Does that show you what the burning spirit can do? Uh... Um... After watching you... I guess... All I did was complain. But I never did anything. I'm telling my parents I'm gonna be a graphic designer. I'll do my best. Ha! I knew you'd Whatever. say Whatever. So, young man, when you are able to fulfill your dream, we shall meet again. We, the members of GU, will be happy to have you join us. May the stars shine upon you until the end of your journey. You are so cool. Gaspard and I aren't in GU. Wow. You know I will. Alright, now is a quick little quest. <clears throat> On to volume 2. New game. Convert data. Carry over data and start the game? Next. Receive a bonus. If your inventory is full, items will be stored in the guild storage. The following items will be... Eh... Hey, money! Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go mute. See you guys in a bit.
happened, you really want to stay in the world. Yeah. All that we have is here. You and I. Yes, this place is all we have. The Online Game. The World. Revision 2. It has now become a place where players prey on other players. A lawless land filled with an overabundance of PKers. And the PKKer, feared by all PKers, was Haseo, the terror of death. Haseo searched and at long last found his hated enemy, Triage, but discovered he was no match for him. He was then reduced to level one by Triage's data drain. In his search for a power that could defeat Triage, Haseo learned of the anomaly known as Ida and the epitaph users that could resist them. and that lured him towards their power, the Avatars. Bordeaux, a PKer with a grudge against Haseo. Matsu, the seventh unit leader of the Moon Tree Guild. Alcade, the former emperor who fights to regain her throne. Through battling these three, Haseo grew both as an epitaph user and as a person. Upon defeating Endrance, the beautiful emperor of the Demon Palace, Haseo learned that he had been using Ida to fill a hole in his heart from something lost in his past. On the day Haseo was crowned the new emperor, the young girl of Moontree, Adelie, disappeared. In his search for her, Haseo came upon outer space and at last encountered Triage. In his second battle with Triage, Haseo came out victorious. Triage was broken up into data fragments and was lost. But just when everyone had let down their guards, a vast number of Ida tentacles suddenly appeared. And pierced Atelier's body. Get up. I'll get yelled at again if I don't. Adelie! Adelie! If... If I could only be more like Haseo. I... Hey! Adelie! Adelie! Huh? Where am I? In an at-home. Ours. An at-home? I... Uh... Natalie, calm down. And then... And then... Atalie! Get away 
from there! Are you okay? Come on, speak to me! Damn it! Not this again! This isn't happening! Oh, Haseo. Just leave everything to me! Come on! Don't worry, you'll be safe now. So how do you feel, Adelie? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm okay, I think. Huh? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what? My voice! You know, we haven't heard Adelie say anything for a while now. Maybe her mic is broken. At times like these, it's best to just log out and reboot. Okay, I'll just log out now. This is Ravens. No! That's not what I mean! This is... an online game, right? Well, yeah. They're not here! My controller! My desk! My M2D! Where... where am I? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Don't worry about your character. Just remove your M2D and... <gasps> Wait. Wait a second. I don't understand. Where are we right now? Huh? We're right... What the hell? Haseo, what about you? Where are you right now? Wait, am I seeing the world directly? I... But where did my real self go? Wait, we've got to log out! Everyone log out! Damn, I can't! What the hell is going on here? Is this a really bad dream or something? Calm down. Currently, it appears that all the players in the world cannot log out from the game's master server. Wait a minute, all the players? Yes. Under the circumstances, it is most likely that the Ida phenomenon is to blame for this. Wait a sec! Never mind logging out. What I want to know is, are we all really inside the game? But that's impossible! 
Even for Ida. Your senses should be informing you that you have now ventured into the game's wondrous world. If you say that this truth is only an imaginary one, then I ask you, where is the real world? As long as they cannot be refuted, there is no end to the possibilities in this world. Perhaps it's also Ida's influence that's keeping us from hearing Adelie's voice. Uh, what is this Ida anyway? Some kind of bug? Anyway, we've got to figure out the situation. Putting aside our inability to log out, it looks as though the game itself is functioning normally. We can use Chaos Gates, platforms, and save shops as we did before this began. We can preserve our data at save shops as usual, but we cannot check email or forums from outside of the game. We still lack information. I'd like all of you to help investigate the situation. Pi, search the areas. Kuhn, go and search Lumina Cloth. Understood. Got it. Haseo, search Makanu. Fine with me. You're tired. You should rest here for a little while. Uh, okay. I need to ask around Makanu. I should start by asking as many players as possible. Okay. We are back and we are now playing Volume 2. Let's go see if we can finally upgrade our, our handy dandy motorbike for the hell of it. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. And I don't care. Nope. <laughs> Not as much. Who cares? <laughs> yes. You'll take that? Okay, well, get ripped off then, scrub. Get ripped off, scrub.
BS. <laughs> All allies SP by a hundred. What will you take from me? <laughs> I know I'm probably screwing myself here, but I honestly don't care. These are items I no longer need. So honestly, I don't give a crap. Do I have any of those? No, I do not. Get screwed, scrub. Great. Nothing I want. Rip Modge. Aim. I'm not gonna answer that call. Keep coming for no reason. There's no point. There's no point. I'm not gonna answer that. I'm not going to answer that. Call me for the silliest things. I'm not going to answer that. There's no point. Yes. Alright, so what... I mean, you'll just take one of those. Get ripped off, scrub. Take one of no, I need that. I need that. Uh, you'll take one of those and one of those. Get screwed, scrub. Okay. Last one. We got a couple more, actually. Let me go over here first. We are ripping people off like crazy, and I love it. Probably down here. Nope. Where are these people at? There's no one here. Excellent. Let's go sell some crap because we don't need it anymore. Yeah, we don't need any more. Sell. that. Don't need that crap. Don't need this. 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 I'll keep that though. Nope. Why did it do that? That's so weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Just don't go up. Go down. Like, come on now. <coughs> um, I want the one that notifies paralysis because it's the worst one. Sleep does not bother me at all. Don't. Why? I don't understand that logic.
I don't understand that logic. It's all the same crap, isn't it? It's all the same crap. Yep, it is. Figures. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut here. And then I'll come back with some more in the next episode. See you guys in a bit or later on. Who knows when? Have a good day.